Hi, I'm Annabelle Hamilton. I'm originally from Glasgow. I have a law degree at University College London and I'm looking to specialise in employment law. My friend said that it sounds a bit like how someone introduces themselves on University Challenge, but I hope it's given you a quick, broad picture. What I want to do now is to try and fill in some of the detail. You know, it's hard to sell your own lack of experience, but straight out of university, I've only got the little experience required from work placements and working as a volunteer at CAB. I'll tell you about some of that in a moment. But what I want to talk to you now about is my first three years in London. So, I know that University College is regarded as one of the top law schools in the country. I also know there are hundreds of graduates out there like me looking for a job. But maybe they're not all like me. When I said to my friend in Glasgow that I wanted to do law, she said, oh, law, the law. Why, Annabelle? It's so dry. Precise, maybe. Layered, complex, sure. Pedantic, certainly. But dry. Nay danger of that, as we say in Glasgow. For me, it's so rich as a subject because it's about human beings. It brings together ethics, philosophy, literature, human rights and human duties, sociology, psychology. And one of the things I loved about my course was how I would ask us students to live inside an actual case and apply the law to it. We were studying one case about a group of women factory workers fighting for equal pay in the 1890s. They were thrown out of their homes along with their families for being troublemakers. And it just so happened that was my duty weekend as a volunteer at St Martin in the Fields, helping the homeless there. And I met a man who had a job and a family and a home until he got into a dispute with one of his employers. And this world just fell in around him everything gone until he was on the street. That was my second term of my first year, and I think I could say it woke me up. I stopped looking at the world as this wee academic exercise and started to see it for real. And employment law became, well, back home I'd say men's, and you know I meant it was my abiding passion. So when I started working at Citizens Advice Bureau at Holborn Library, I sort of became an employment law expert. I know that sounds dangerous, but I'd never talk about anything I hadn't checked first. I always checked, researched, double-checked with the lecturers. We got into some pretty big conversations sometimes. Even got my tutor working there once a month. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just out of uni. And I have a degree like 500 people you could interview. But I have a passion and a focus I doubt any of them have. And I believe it's one that particularly suits a world where our level of migration, zero hour contracts, and the blurring of employers' obligations can lead to serious abuse. I want to put that passion to good use. See, it's even a rhyme. <laughs> so I hope you look at me on this camera, check out my documents, bring me in for an interview, and tell me I've been claimed. If you do, I may even say yes.